Hi everybody, Itachi here and uh, today in this video I want to show you how to download the OBS and how's it, how to use it for streaming, recording for YouTube or Twitch TV or even you can use it for vlogs. And this is going to be a beginner's guide and uh, the advanced and intermediate version will be posted soon. So without any further delay, let's get into it. As I mentioned, this video is going to be a beginner's guide. We will be going through the following things, how to download and the installation, setups and some basic settings. So how to download. First, you want to open your web browser and type in the URL ubsproject.com, which I have highlighted here and as well as I have provided in the description. And once you load the obsproject.com website, it will look like this and you have to select the appropriate operating system windows and mac will automatically download the software whereas for linux it will provide you the it's open gl so it's going to provide you the steps on how to download and how to install so once you click on it it will automatically download and you have to double click on it and you will install it once you have installed and opened the obs software this is what you're gonna look at a blank screen with a black window and some of the settings here for the controls and some mic and audio as well as some sources window so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look into the sources how to add different sources and what are the settings that needs to be kept in mind while streaming and while recording that is the other thing and some of the audio mixer settings uh, we are not going to cover any scenes or uh, scene transition in this video since it is an intermediate version this particular two options we are going to keep that in the next video okay. now first what you need to do is you need to set up a source Go down to source and click on the plus symbol and click on display capture click on ok and whether you can select if you have multiple monitors the two displays uh, it will say display one and display two and you can select which one you would like to capture and you can if you want to capture the cursor movement you can just click on capture cursor and click on ok so you will be able, with this option you will be able to capture the entire display whatever that is available on your monitor so that is what display capture is and this is game capture where as similar to the name this will capture the only the game window whatever that you are currently playing and not the entire monitor or the other programs so just click on game capture and provide the name if you like to say for example Dota or uh, Valorant or whatever you want uh, click on OK now make sure that select specific window capture specific window not any full screen application if you select this whatever the application that is available on a full screen say for example if you are watching a movie and if it is on a full screen then it will be captured here so you need to select capture specific window once you click on it and if it, in the next drop down under window you have to uh, select the specific game that you'd like to capture as of now i haven't uh, opened anything so it shows notepad and uh, this particular uh, obs so I'm not going to select anything and if you have opened the game um, here it will be displayed here and you have to click on that once you click on that just click on ok and it will be displayed here so this is how you capture the game and the next option that we would like to see is image some as I said in the beginning some of you might use it for vlog or some kind of uh, content creators 
would be uh, showing some kind of image and they will be speaking in the background. So this is where this particular source will come into play. Once you select image, click on OK. And what you need to do is click on browse. Click on browse and select the appropriate image that you want to display. Click on open and click on OK. So, say for example, you guys are uh, doing some blogs or uh, some kind of content creator where you can uh, display a single image and uh, you'll be able to uh, explain it through voice. So, this is where this image source would be really useful. And uh, there is one more uh, use for this particular um, image uh, source which will be covered in the intermediate this is the use for image source the next source that we want to see is window capture window capture as i said uh, as the name explains it captures a specific window so right now there is only one window which is obvious for me i, I don't have anything so if you have enabled a window say for example if you have opened a uh, Google Chrome or uh, any any, a, any uh, window, you can select that, and that particular window will be captured here. So that is the use for window capture. One more source that you really need to know if in case you are uh, kind of streaming or content creating in YouTube or Twitch. So that one would be browser. So once you click on OK, it will provide you the URL. Say for example, you want to display some um, YouTube video or some kind of uh, um, image, not a local file. Uh, you need to display it uh, in the screen. You can provide the URL here and uh, you can select a bit. As of now, the width is 800, uh, sorry, uh, 800 uh, into 600. Normally, what I will do is, to take that would be the best option so this is the use of browser moving on to the next section that would be the controls before moving on to controls let's take a quick look at a uh, quick look at the audio mixer uh, this obvious video will be able to capture your desktop audio uh where whatever the say for example you are, you are playing a game and uh whatever the, the game sound it will be able to capture the uh, audio the game audio will be captured in here uh make sure that you always select it as default just click on the settings here and click on properties and keep it as default this is for desktop audio and mic if you are going to speak uh, if you're going to capture your input in the stream, the recording or stream, you need to click on the settings and again properties. Select the appropriate mic that you are using. So these are the two options that we should keep a look into the audio mixer. The next section would be control. Here you see, uh, you can see the start streaming button where uh, you can click on start streaming and automatically whatever that is projected here from the source will be stream, uh, will be out, uh, streaming to the respective platform, which YouTube, Mixer, Facebook Gaming, whatever you have configured under settings. So this is where you can start streaming start recording is where you can while playing a game you can just click on a start recording and record the gameplay and after the game has been completed you can edit the gameplay or edit the video or edit the content that you have created alter it tweak it according to your personality and to your uh, match fine tune it refine it and then upload it in the YouTube.
So this is where you can record. Just click on start recording and use it. And studio mode, this is something where once you get familiarized with the uh, OBS studio, you can uh, click on the studio mode and you can make the changes in the OBS studio without projecting anything. Exit, which is self explanatory and settings. These are the settings that you need to put into while using the OPS Studio. There are several uh, languages available. You can choose whatever you wish to. And theme, there are four, four different themes. And uh, I prefer the dark theme. These are the settings that you need to, that is mostly uh, useful in under general, where uh, if you want to, um, Provide a dialog box. Say, for example, the steam has started. Uh, you can click on it, and similarly, a steam has stopped, and st a recording has stopped. Something like that. You want to enable it? You can use it here, and uh, you can kind of the brow browsing and uh, minimizing it will automatically. So these are the options that is available under central. So, see, this is where you need to configure for doing the live stream. So by default, it will be under custom file guys. So you need to click on uh, custom, and in the drop down, you need to select whether you want to use it for Twitch or YouTube or Facebook Live. It's it's based on the response. You need to connect your uh, account and enter the screen key. Next one, output mode. Keep it simple. Uh, just keep it simple. And if you press stream, make sure that the output is 3500 or 3500. And don't change any of these settings. So, this is whatever the settings that you want to change here will be reflected in your stream. So, the user might have some issues if you want to tweak it here. Tweak it here. So, it's up to the graphics card and the PC that you are going to use. So adjust it accordingly to your PC. The recording section, this is where you need to mention where you need to save the recording files. And recording quality, you want to high quality or uh, the same as stream, it's up to you. Keep it as default, the MKV mode. Uh, and that's it for the recording. So the audio section, the sample will be 48 kilohertz. And here you can select the desktop audio default or whatever the desktop audio that you want to input. Mic, microphone, whatever the mic that you're going to use for speak. And make sure that the other uh, mics, if you have multiple mics, make sure that you have disabled everything and selected only one microphone that you're going to use. Similarly, for the desktop audio, if you have connected a speaker and a headphone, make sure that you connect the default audio, not the other one around. Other way around. And for video, this is the base uh, resolution, which is 1920 uh, to 1080. And the output, I would always recommend to be as 1080 the same one this is the one which you wanna project it to your viewers whether it is a recording or screen whatever it is so the common fps value make sure that you select 60 in case if your system is the pc is not able to uh, cope up with 60 frames per second keep it in 30. anything other than that uh, under 30 would be really not, but uh, it will not provide a good video for the user. And um, hotkeys you can you can assign uh, a bit keys for your day, day to day activity. Say, for example, I'm gonna do a streaming daily, then I will uh, use F11 and to stop streaming, F12, something like that. Alt uh, R. Control R, 
but start recording and stop recording similarly you can use it you can play around with it and advanced don't change any of these settings under any advanced uh, everything work should work perfectly for you guys uh, the only thing what you want what you want us to change is if you're using for uh, recording this will be saving in the uh, format like the file name will be saving under year month day hour minutes and second so if you want to change it or something like default you can do it and these are the we just uh, hover over the mouse you can see what are the options that are available and you can make it for you. So, that's it for transitions. And let's cover the scenes and the, the scene transition in the intermediate version. Thanks for watching. I hope this business tutorial helped you out with learning OBS Studio. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, please click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification button. As it informed, as I said in the beginning, OBS Intermediate video and Advanced video will be available in upcoming weeks. Until then, stay safe, stay happy, signing up from you guys. Thank you.